Gentlemen, today is a big episode. In our Wheel of Month season, we have four wins and one loss. So yes, I could afford to lose today, but if we win, we'll head to the playoffs. Obviously, that's the best case scenario, so we're looking forward to that. Last episode, we added this insane 98 overall left tackle. Our offensive line's looking really good. Tight end, wide receivers are looking great. Backfield's been solid. I don't know. I'm, I'm at the point where maybe I do take... Maybe I take Malik Willis all the way to the Super Bowl. He's kind of earned it. I need a backup tight end. I'd prefer some new D tackles. I wouldn't hate an MLB 2 and a free safety. And good God, I would love a kicker. Also, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy coins or players. I recommend buying players. It's the safest method. You're going to get a way better deal than what EA would offer you. And my code MMG can get you 10% off. Enjoy the rest of Wheel'em Up, baby. I'm going to get straight into the content today. I don't want to forget to get a kicker, which I've already forgot for like five or six episodes straight. And it's technically possible. It's really not all that likely. I think there's one kicker who's a 92 overall and it's Adam Vinatieri. That's it. So I'm going to go to the top 10, 92 to 93 overall players and I can choose one. We sort by time remaining. Top 10 is left end, wide receiver, left end, center, halfback, wide. Oh my God. He's, he's literally, dude, he's literally the last player available. But out of these top two slots, I could choose one player. And Vinatieri's at the end. Well, I don't even know who I would have gone. If I didn't go Vinatieri, I guess I'd take like, I, dude, I literally don't know who I'd take. I wouldn't take any of these bozos. Hey, what ass cow? Dude, we briefly did have Vinatieri, but then I lost that game and I lost Vinatieri. 70,000 coins, 92 overall kicker out of Vinatieri. Thank you. I'm going to give him Zen kicker for slowing kicker kicker meter for all kicks over 45 yards. Also gonna give him precision kicker for full vision of the kicking arc. I don't need clutch kicker. I hit iced kicks. Got a new kicker, baby. This is huge. Top 10, 92, 93 just came up. Unbelievably clutch. Whew, you can't ask for much more than that, gentlemen. Our second spin is five separate packs, coins or training. I work at, this is gonna require some luck for sure. Since my team is so good, there's not a lot of positions I could really upgrade. Obviously, left guard, I could upgrade with the pack right now. Technically, I could upgrade anything depending on how good my pack odds are. So I can get five packs from the store. They all have to be separate packs. It could be coins or training. I'm gonna start with the combine pack for 108,000 coins. Some of these combine players are nasty. I just got to pull him. Troy Apke had the most goaded silver card ever a long time ago. 6194 speed. We also get Jordan Willis and an all Madden player, which is 89 Ronnie Lott. That's actually, those are all really good pulls. Troy Apke will probably make the team in some backup capacity. All right, my next pack, I'll do the 90 plus combine player training pack. I pulled a few 95s out of these, so hopefully we can keep up that. Odds? Odafe always actually a stud, but he's not going to make this team either, I don't think. 6'5", 94 speed. That's a really good left outside linebacker. There's the very expensive Jumbo GG Volume 2 Fantasy Pack, so we're definitely going to go with that for Pack 3. Sam Mills, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Dante Hall. These don't help much. Second round, John Johnson, David Bell, James Daniels, Cater Kohu. And the topper, hey! Wait, what position is that? Logan Thomas! Mike on Wenu or Logan Thomas. I think I'd take Logan Thomas for the backup tight end. That's actually massive that he has free tight end apprentice. Dude, I hate to say it. He might even be better than Hawk. He's faster and taller than Hawk. I'm not putting him in for Hawk, though. All right, we got our first very usable player. That's good news. <laughs> I mean... Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> Listen... The wheel spin does say five separate packs, coins, or training. The JJ Watt tribute costs training. You can't stop me from doing this. Nobody can stop me from doing this. He won't be a starting edge rusher because I have Chase Young and Javon Curse. 95 overall JJ Watt could be one hell of a D tackle. 6'5", 90 speed. Dude, he's a monster. Maybe I make Javon Curse a D tackle. Edge threat elite for one and you get lurker? Double or nothing for free? For free? This is my new left end. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Javon curse you're going to need tackle and should i leave for one double or nothing for free that is messed up that spin is a whole lot better than i expected it to be and the final thing i'll open is an 89 plus aka new class player just in case i go crazy and pull a 97 like i did on the pack opening come on baby come on baby come on baby oh! that's karma is what that is that's that's my karma for cheesing this so a pretty big offensive upgrade and a pretty big defensive upgrade we also got a special teams upgrade on this episode very well rounded okay so offensively logan thomas becomes backup tight end. That is one hell of a backup tight end. And my backup strong safety is going to be Troy Apke. Every once in a while, you run like a nickel formation, and that position actually 
comes in. So I'm glad I have him there. Okay, so Javon Curse right now is three AP for edge threat and under pressure. And JJ Watt gets all of that for one AP plus double or nothing for free. So JJ Watt, just from an ability standpoint, is so much better. Dalvin Tomlinson is my current D tackle. Javon Curse is a slightly better D tackle. But the big question here is does Javon Curse get inside stuff? It's a pretty important ability to have. He does, but it's three AP for inside stuff. I'm still technically getting a discount here. This is super, super weird. Pick art is for free on Derek Stingley. And now I have, I have one AP to use somewhere. Our third and final wheel spin. We got JJ Watt, Logan Thomas, Vinatieri, and one more player on the line. It's gonna be a GG two deck. We're going to have another monster on the line. Now, Gridiron Gardens Volume 2 has a ton of 97 overall players. So we're for sure getting someone amazing. I think I know exactly who I'm going to get. He's actually a limited two. The player we're going to grab here is 97 overall Marcus Williams. Card art goes crazy. He's 6'1 with 96 speed, 96 acceleration, crazy hip power, crazy everything. He's got crazy everything. I don't know what abilities he gets, but he's a limited 97 overall. I can guarantee you he gets some amazing discounted abilities. We have one AP to spare on defense. I know you get nasty discounted abilities. Deep out zone KO. I'm most likely gonna run this. He also gets secure tackler or no outsiders. Can't justify those other two. Not over deep out zone KO. Next up is pick artist for free. Enforcer for free. And flat zone KO for one. It's honestly pretty tough. I do like enforcer for free, but I feel like he's gonna get hit sticks anyway. I'm gonna go with pick artist here and we're just gonna let him hit hard when he hits hard. I'm gonna give him an X factor. I'm gonna give him shut down. And Marcus Williams is going to be paired with Troy Palomalu, Sauce Gardner, Megatron, and Derek Stingley. The combination of Chase Young and Marcus Williams, honestly, it's so inexcusable. How do these two little minor animations on these cards make my game lag so bad? That is inexcusable. Whatever. Whatever, EA. Suck my dick. Just remember that. Take your big, juicy throat, put two hands on it, and suck my dick. Fuck you. I don't need the monetization. All right? I sold out enough this month. You can keep it in, Ty. You can keep it in. And of course... The challenge wheel. Let's see what we got in store today for this episode of Wheel of Mud. Dude, I got some monster players on this team. I want an easy challenge. Shit! Why do I keep getting this? I keep getting this one and I can't... Oh, I got Vinatieri. This was last time. Oh, this is so bad. I'm gonna lose. Does that mean I'm gonna lose? No. He's got 99 Zach, 99 Keenan, 99 Valdez. Don't worry, my game's gotta lag like crazy because Marcus Williams fucking... It's just a little bit of electricity. Are you shitting me? First ever phone I had, an LG NV... Dude, the first iPad created could run that stupid animation better. Please don't quit. Fuck you. Literally, one of the most frustrating things in Wheel of Mutt is when people do that. I'm now technically in the playoffs. Ugh, that's... That's so annoying. Like, I'm happy I'm in the playoffs, but that is actually so annoying. Here's what I'm gonna do. Rather than play the wild card right now, I think that's unfair. I'm gonna play an all Madden Seasons game. If I win this game, next episode is the wild card playoffs. If I lose this game, next episode, I'm four and two. Our top three, Sauce Gardner, Marcus Williams, Justin Jefferson. He's got Kelsey Hurts and the Milkman. All right, he's got a great team too. Now, there's not that many differences between all Madden and what I was just playing. One big difference is I cannot see my opponent's last play. There are also minor gameplay differences, but I don't think they're significant enough for me to even think about it. I think I just play how I always play and... We just try and catch a W right here. Let's go get it. Second and five. Taking on Jalen Hurts in San Fran Unis. It's kind of weird, man. I don't like it. Can I get there? Oh, he's gonna laser me. Oh, you're nuts! Come on! Let's go, Paula Malu! Everybody tries that. Oh, good cut! Another one! Me. Oh, we almost did it. Let's score a touchdown and hit a crossbar on the PAT. All right, I'm going to throw to Bo, who's wide open. I'm going to get rocked by Julius Peppers. I see Michael Irvin. I'm going to try and get to Michael Irvin here. Go, Mike. Oh, I can't throw it. I got to go with Malik. Ah, I was looking at Michael Irvin, but he just wasn't there. Does he go for Michael Irvin or can I throw Michael Irvin super mega quick? I'm going to throw Michael Irvin so fast. Just throw it. Huh. Did he catch that? Oh my god, he caught it! But he's on the one! I'm giving Michael Irvin this out route. He's gonna think Michael Irvin's on a slant. I'm giving him the out. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike! Mike Irvin! Let's go! Galaxy Brain! Oh my god, now we hit the PAT. This will be the greatest episode ever. Vinatieri. Okay, Vinatieri has Zen. Dude, this is harder than it looks. I'm telling you, man. I can't see that. I thought I put on an ability that gives me full vision of the kicking arc. I can't see dick. I don't know anything, I guess. I don't know anything. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't think he's got anything. 
No, 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 no! This has gotta be a run, right? Oh shit, he's passing. Uh-oh. I am not ready for this. Oh, maybe I am! Sauce. Nice switch on. I'm gonna go get the QB. This is a sack right here. Jalen Hurts is going down. Oh no, don't run that ball. No, you fraud. No, 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 this is bad. Play action. Gronk's open. No, no. Maybe he's not. Go, go, go! Hey, good breakup, Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams. There you go, buddy. I think he's gonna look underneath just to pick this up. Play action. Oh, I'm here with Isaiah Simmons. He can't throw this. No way. No way! Get it! That's where you need a tip drill. That's a sketchy ball. I can't believe he's throwing that. All right, we're playing underneath. We're playing the pass. I don't think he runs it. I think he's too scared to run it. Yep. I got the middle. I got the middle. No, I don't have that. Oh, what? 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 I would quit. I would stop playing. How did George Kittle just drop that ball twice? How did that ball get knocked out? Where's the user? Ooh, he leaves Justin Jefferson. I got lit up. Let's just play this game perfectly. I'm going to break the Adam Vinatieri curse today. I'm gonna break it. Oh, Hawkins sucks! Great route. Great route, get a spin. Woo! He doesn't see, ooh, nice route, bow, and a good ball from Malik. Skirt, good cut. Dude, this guy has a literal god squad, but he sucks. Do we double up on Michael Irvin? I can't give Michael Irvin any good routes. That is a bummer, but that whip route is a beauty. Go, Mike! Go, Mike! <laughs> This is gonna be the greatest PAT you've ever seen. Dude, I almost need like more room on this PAT. Let's get a penalty. It's so stupid. What is the point of Adam Vinatieri's ability to see the full kicking arc? If I can't, the most goaded thing I could do is hit it and it goes in. I still can't see. That's it. It's right there. I gotta go perfect accuracy. I think I did it. Come on. Come on. Get out the way. to miss a kick in my whole life. That's what we needed. The curse is officially broken. 13 to zero. I'm keeping Vinatieri. Let's go, baby. He's gonna go play action again, dude. If I'm him, I'm running the football. Second and 10. Let's see what our opponent goes to. Still passing the football. I cannot believe this. Third and seven. He's coming across the middle. He could throw. Oh, dude, stop trying that. I'm legitimately mad at you. You just, you know it's not gonna work. Go hey. Palomalu. Action to your beer. This is one of the weirdest. This is one of the weirdest Wheel of Mud episodes ever. I'm sorry, boys, dude. The, the script writers took the week off or something. I don't know what happened here. That was the game that I said propels us to the playoffs. So now, head to head season says we're in the playoffs. So next episode is going to be the wild card playoffs. And in that episode right there, not only did I complete the challenge wheel and get two upgrades for Michael Irvin, but I also got an actual legitimate rage quit. And you know what we've been saying? We say every time we get a rage quit, Michael Irvin gets an upgrade. So Michael Irvin with his two touchdowns gets two upgrades. And with the rage quit, he's maxed out. So as of today, we have a maxed out Michael Irvin. Irvin gets short out of leave for free. So I'm going to add that ability to him. And that's all I'm going to run on him because my offensive abilities are great right now. But Michael Irvin just took a massive leap. He's 6'2", 96 speed, 96 jump. That's an amazing wide receiver. For the first time in a while, our power-up legend is going to be very impactful. All right, for our first rage quit in a long time, we get a spin on the rage quit wheel. I'm gonna let you guys see it first. We'll see what we can snag today. The Rage Quit Wheel lands on 16 gold plus players, 1570 plus golds, and one 81 plus elite player. I'm gonna start with our 81 plus elite player. It is 81 Jalen Waddle, 83 Derek Rivers. Hilariously, you know what this is? This is amazing fodder for a prestige. Like I just pulled 75 George Pickens. I could prestige him into 97 George Pickens. That's pretty much what I'm looking for in this pack. Marcus Walker. Walker, no. Basically, 16 bench players that could all be prestiged. I don't hate that. Devin Bush, I don't think he has anything crazy good. Andre Roberts, Devontae Parker, an ultimate kickoff player, potential, potential. No, never mind. Anthony Schwartz, did he get anything good this year? Got a legend player. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Rod Woodson's got a 94 at the least. Andre Dillard, and that's it. Yeah, not much from there, but I'm not too shocked. Overall, honestly, this was such a good episode for my team and going into the playoffs, but it went kind of weird. So I do apologize for that. I wish I could have had a great game, but um, the script writers were burnt out, man. They've been putting out so many fucking heaters that I think they just took a day off. We keep Logan Thomas. Michael Irvin is maxed out, and we keep Marcus Williams along with 95 JJ Watt. Javon Curse will stay D-tackle. Our team is nasty, man. 94 overall, we got the playoffs coming up. With the playoffs, we'll be able to add an MLB 2. We could potentially upgrade my offensive line a little bit more and potentially replace Malik Willis, but I'm kind of scared of replacing Malik Willis. He got us here, and he's been playing great. So why would I switch things up? Hey, I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you in the next one.
Peace out.